Hello my friends. I usually do the 3D printing with my own 3D printer and it's very important especially at the beginning at the modeling phase because I usually need three or more iterations to get all of the dimensions and fit right. But the problem with the regular FDM printing is that the lines are usually quite visible and uh, the layers are also visible. Also with PLA I often get shrinking on the corners and with PETG there is no shrinking but uh, there is quite a lot to be desired for the surface finish. So it was never quite ideal. Also if I use the adhesion layer then I need to do something with this edge and it's just never felt quite right for me. Or maybe I wasn't able to get awesome results. So I decided to give a try to online 3D printing with resin. The offers I saw before were quite expensive, so 50 plus dollars with delivery to print, and what's a little bit too much for me. But the other day I saw an offer from GLCPCB and the prices there are very good, so it's about 5 euros per model and then extra 5 euros for delivery. So in total, for this two-part print in resin, I paid 16 euros delivery. It was also done quite quickly, so I got the entire order from from order to delivery was about 8 days, I think. The internal and external dimensions are a bit oversized, so the buttons are traveling freely, and I also have some excess material if I want to do any sanding. But I'm most amazed at the material itself, so it is a cured resin, and if I wanted to do this at home that would be expensive, but also very messy, and also very inefficient, because I only need to print two small parts. It just really becomes quite expensive, I think, for small volume, and obviously I don't have a resin printer, so I'm very impressed with the qualities of the material. I'm also impressed with the details. When I was printing with my regular printer, it was sometimes struggling whenever there is a complicated feature. It was completely not the case with this print. I also like very much how the marker is writing on the surface of it. So with my regular print at home, the marker ink would travel along the lines and with this material I have no problems writing on the surface and the ink doesn't travel far. In fact, it almost doesn't travel at all. If I wanted this part to really last a long time, I would probably do a clear coat spray on top of it, but that is really not necessary for a functional piece like this. So overall I'm quite happy with the result. I think I might use GLCPCB 3D printing service again in the future, whenever I have a finished model. So I'd call this experiment a success. Thanks for watching and see you next time.